Hi gamers, Princess Angel here with another uh, art book review. This week we're doing a, a book on a very well-known uh, game series. I'm sure all of you know it. Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Historia. Personally, I didn't own all the Zelda games, but the ones I remember playing most as a child were Oracle of Seasons or Oracle of Ages and the original Legend of Zelda um, for the NES. Um, I mean, that was the one game the whole family got into um, when I was a kid. You know, you would see mom playing and dad playing and me playing it and my sister. And, you know, it's just fun. Granted, you know, the only one who ever came close to beating the game was my mother until the game's battery for saving decided to wipe out the game. Um, I, recently I actually started a new, um, new save. I haven't beaten it yet, but that's, that's top priority. I'll get that done. Yeah, it's got all the artwork from all, um, all the games up to Skyward Sword. Now it goes through each of the games, the character models, you know, the concepts for each character. It's actually very beautiful. Um, it even has the infamous timeline. Um, I always say it's infamous because I know a lot of people question it. They don't really agree with the timeline. And some people even have theories that it's like a portal, portal universe thing or an alternate universe kind of thing where, you know, it's happening in different streams of time, not all consecutively, which obviously that, that has to be the case. Um, but personally, you know, I think half the fun growing up was trying to figure out which games came first, if it was the original one that came first, or if it was another one of the game series. I really do like it. Um, very tasteful with the artwork, and there's very cute like forwards and afterwards from Miyamoto and other members of the staff, where they're holding uh, the Hy Hyrulean shield and um, the sword, yeah, and they're having fun. That was really cute, and you know, you don't really see that a lot in art books where like you know people who work on these games like have fun and really get into the character, and you could tell that this is a project they've worked on for a very long time and they love it and, you know, they're enthusiastic about it. I mean, it's freaking Zelda. Like, how many people can say that they don't like those games? I can't. It's just, it's a great game. It's a great series. Um, but yeah, the artwork, phenomenal, the character models, and like the different variations that they have for different segments of certain games and I mean I find it interesting that when you get to like the um, area where they talk about the timeline that afterwards they talk about each era like the child era or the light and dark era so each game gets its own little highlight in each era that it falls under even at one point in the book, there are character sketches of Link. Uh, just how much Link's changed over the years. I mean, he started out as, you know, just this little character, like, sprite thing, going through the cartoon changes, and then, you know, became the more detailed teenage adult looking Link. And it's just amazing to think how far graphics has, have go gone. As in the f it's just amazing to, to think how far graphics have gone in the way of gaming that we can go from a little 8-bit character going da -da 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 to, you know, almost a 3D fully rendered model and doing the same thing and still having the same effect. Now, I tell you, every time I hear that music, I think the chest opening up and something floating in the air. And then you have found XYZ. Um, and the other thing I want to press upon is that towards the end of the book, there's a little, like, comic strip, almost like, uh, almost like, uh, introduction to a comic book that I guess they're starting for, uh, Legend of Zelda, or has just come out, and they have some pages in black and white, 
and then they have some in color. And you can really see that the artist put great detail into these pages and that it looks like it would be like almost manga style or like anime style uh, with the drawing style of Link and all of the other characters. But, you know, it's a good advertisement for that, uh, for that comic, I mean, why not put it in the back of the story, you know? Probably the best place to put it. People are already looking for Legend of Zelda stuff, if you put it in there, you got your audience. I think this is a really good book. I would definitely buy it. Although, right now it's still probably like 40 bucks retail. Um, so, if you don't want to spend that much, you know, just wait a little while, you know, check other sites, see if you can get discounts. Um, but it is, I would say, it's a good purchase. So, that's all for now, guys. Prince Sage, over and out. Bye.